Sometimes as you work with a portrait, you may feel that the eyes need a little bit of whitening. This allows you to bring out the area surrounding the iris and the pupil just to make it pop a little bit more. The approach is gonna be very similar to what we did with teeth. Take a photo and zoom in so the eye fills most of the frame. Then choose your brush. Assign a color so it's a little bit easier to see and take advantage of the auto mask option. Now simply paint. And what we're looking to do there is select the white of the eye. If I hold down the space bar, I can move over a little bit here and continue painting. Get a bigger brush as needed. And remember, as you're brushing, a little bit of feather is a good idea. And let's do the other eye here. There we go. Usually the adjustment amount should be equal between the two eyes. Definitely left bracket for a smaller brush and paint in that tiny area. That's good. Now what we could do is start to play with the saturation. I'm just gonna remove the color of that mask so it doesn't affect things. There we go. And begin to brighten that with the exposure slider. Notice how that really brightens the eyes, which is quite nice. We can also play with the contrast here, although that kind of brings the veins out a little bit. And using the white slider versus the highlight slider, you could play with the overall balance. Now, as you adjust that, you may notice that the eyes themselves need some attention. In this case, what I'm gonna do is brush over the eye with a new adjustment. So let's create a new one here, a little bit bigger, and select that whole eye. Now, we'll do this one as well. And what we can do is affect that area. Again, remove the color, and you can now easily play with things like texture and clarity, as well as saturation. And you'll see how those eyes really start to pop. Let's lift that exposure just a little bit more, and that's really quite fantastic. If we take a look at that there, let's click to do the side-by-side, -side, and I'll drag through. You can see how the eye itself is brighter and clearer, and how the wider area around the pupil really helps stand out. These sorts of adjustments are small, but go a long way into improving the overall quality of the image.